Alright, child. After the storm, I had to pick all this up. All this was laid down. So I just threw it back up the best I could. Ready for my second round of tomatoes because it's like the only thing that's producing. All it look like I don't have nothing but sweet potato vines. I'm not sure if there's sweet potatoes in there. I'm not sure if the seeded potatoes survive. It's not time yet to pull them up. So stay tuned for the potato patch to see what we got going in there. And as you can see, womp womp. We got one. I know it's not no potatoes in here. The vines just died out, y'all. They just died out. Remember, this was a russet potato, and this was a russet potato that I let chip. So, <laughs> hopefully I got a potato in here. The greenery is still holding on the best it can. So, the vines, and uh, stay tuned. When this vine die out, get then we'll turn it over and see what we got. But I know I, it's not soon enough to have potatoes, but I don't know. Maybe it was the heat. So, that's what I was saying. Things are not looking so good. Once again, the onions have died out. I don't know why, but they just died out. But I figured out, as soon as I got them bubbing, now they're dying out. But we got bell pepper still holding on. We got a few other... Uh, peppers holding on. Hopefully. Working up, waiting on the second round of tomatoes. It's going slow. But we do have plenty of buds, uh, flowers here at the top. And I come out every morning and try to shake them. We had a storm last night. Along with these over here, these tomatoes. This is my only beef steak tomato. It's like I said, check out the chalk. They eating. They most definitely are eating. <laughs> they most definitely are eating. Now, as far as producing fruit, I don't know what they're waiting on, what the hole up is, or what. But, this seemed to be where I'm at, at a standstill. Everything bloomed, came out, and then everything bloomed, stopped at the same time. Like, it's kind of weird. thinking of should I just go on. We got some volunteer tomatoes. These are Brad Atomic Grape tomatoes that finally came through after been outside I know six months. Here now they finally gonna do something. So, still don't have any yellow bells. Like I said. So, just waiting on the next round. Still no grapes. This may be an old grapevine. Remember, I got it last season. It was the same as that little stick there. So, hopefully, in the next season or two, I'll get some muscadine grapes. If not, I'm going to keep pushing. Uh, no berries yet, no blueberries. But they did shake back. A lot of greenery. Just like my bell peppers, I use a lot. I cook with a lot of bell peppers, so that's why I planted so many. But I don't know, they don't, you see them, they small. But the stalks are thick, so they eat me. I'm not gonna, you know, keep forcing them. It's not time for them to eat again, so I'm not gonna give them anything else. Just trusting that this rain, I don't know if that was too much, because I've been watering, so I don't know. Like I said, I only have one watermelon. I do have a few cantaloupes, so I'm grateful for that. But something is better than nothing, as you can see. My one lonely little watermelon. But I'm glad it's here, because I didn't get any last season. So this season is a success. I got more cantaloupe. I even got a watermelon going. So this is, I counted all glory a success. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to have fruit, my own fruit, this season. So, there you have it. Y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all for stopping by the trailer park garden. Get out and grow something. And be blessed.